Babe, I'm not a boy. He is a boy. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dolly Singh. I also realized that a lot of you guys here who are new don't really know my name because it's not written anywhere. So, my hair just opened. Yes. Okay, my name is Dolly Singh. No more questions about that. Let's just get into the video. How to know he a boy. So girls, let's just get there boys. Get the I actually did my research, wrote it down like a professional. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. First point, chapter one. So, first thing is that he is going to be nice AF in the beginning. The first two times he meets you, he's going to be the nicest man of them all. And you are going to think, I'm a princess. He is my prince. He treats me like a princess. So, you know, this is happening. But that's where it ends. So, you know, it's just to get into your, I don't want to say it. My mom might watch it. So, yep. Point number two timing which for him is always off you will send him a sweet text message saying hi sometime around the daytime at 2 in the noon and he will take seven hours to reply and around 11 in the night I don't know if that's seven hours don't check my math um, but he will reply at 11 in the night saying babe you up what's up wanna chill to which my reaction is and he is the same boy who when you meet is actually constantly on his phone so taking seven hours to reply to a text message really he will never ever make any daytime plans with you you know what I mean he is a real busy man so ambitious making money or making a career but you know after 11 things change Do I really need to explain it? Point number three, labels. Because that is kryptonite to all these boys. All of them. Yes. So every time you ask them a question related to you guys, you know, where you're at, what page, what you wanna call each other, they're gonna be like, mm, you know what? I don't believe in labels. I just feel like there's such an unnecessary invention. Who believes in labels? Like, do we really need it? Do we? Us girls are sitting there like... <laughs> but in our heads, we're like, yes, of course, we do need labels. I mean, because labels make me feel so organized. Salt, sugar, boyfriend, not boyfriend, friend, friend with benefits. Just pick one. Point number four ghost which is what you are in his life because there is no particular no real evidence that you actually exist in his life like really trust me really really he never wants to have a picture with you you know i mean you can have as many pictures with him as like you want to but has he ever actually taken his phone out to take a picture with you and even if he has, he hasn't put any on his social media or even if he does, even if he does, it doesn't really say anything, you know, you're just one of his multiple girlfriends. I mean, he has those kind of pictures with a lot of other girls. You know what I mean, you know, you know it, you know it. Also, no public dates, you know, you don't really go out in public. You don't really go out for dates. All he wants to do is Netflix and chill. Point number five, the guilt trip. Babe, why don't you send me a picture of you? You know what kind of picture I'm talking about. And when you don't send it, he takes you on a guilt trip because it's fun. <laughs> You didn't send me a picture that time, remember? Remember? In every argument, he is gonna play the victim. You didn't send me that selfie the other day, remember? Point number 
point number six, the trash talking about other girls. So every other girl in his life is crazy, whether it is his ex or his friends or his sister or his, I don't know, but they're all crazy. I believe in girl love way too much to even listen to all that crap because you know just like you have bros before hoes I have sisters before misters so girls I'm watching you stay true to that <laughs> no I'm just kidding why am I being like this I'm being mean <laughs> sorry guys Point number seven the disappearing game you know we all enjoy it hide and seek we used to do not anymore you know boys we don't we don't I'm, I'm, boys must not be even here but just saying so for a few days you know these guys will just take a break just for seven days they'll be out of it they will send no text messages no snapchats will coming nothing nothing at all and then after seven days of not replying to your messages or anything of the sort they will appear again and pretend that nothing has happened. Hi babe, what's up? And you're sitting there like, um, um, do you wanna explain the seven days? And they're gonna give some lame ass excuse saying, oh nothing, I was just busy, my brother had this assignment I was making, you know, I was just busy with work, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's actually gonna sound like that, blah, blah, blah. exactly like this. And this is something I learned while debating in school, last, but definitely not the least. They never call. All these they never call. When you call them, they will never pick up because they're not comfortable. I mean, how can you send, you know, those like shirtless pictures over a phone call? It's not possible. Their major means of communication are things like WhatsApp, Snapchat. I mean, Snapchat is like the holy grail or whatever you call it. I don't think I need to say it because I've already said it a couple of times, but if he says these things, wanna chill, babe, you up? At one in the night, I am up, but I don't need to. Notes. I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I really don't know what I want right now. What would you do if I was there with you right now? Shower without me, bath without me, food without me, potty without me. He is I'm gonna see you next time, but if you wanna see more of this kind of bullshit, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Press the bell notification button because I, it helps. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.